Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm killing myself later on, I do worry that my extraordinary comedic legacy may not live on. Now, over the years, I've had to endure people mimicking my performances in restaurants, in airplanes, in hospices. Even my proctologist greets me with a silly walk. But <laughs> these homages have given me an idea. What if I were to assemble some of the best and brightest Cleese copycats and stage a contest to find my replacement, a Cleese idol, if you will? Ladies and gentlemen, tonight one person will be chosen for the ultimate honor, the right to perform my beloved routines from this day forward. Of course, I'll be the judge, so that means we need a host, preferably someone as universally adored as I am. Hello everyone, I'm Ben Mulrooney and welcome to Please Idol. Tonight. Three lucky contestants will vie for the right to carry on the legacy of Mr. John Cleese, but only one will get to be crowned the Cleese Idol. And here to judge their efforts is the suicidal funny man, John Cleese. What, what, what was his name again? Ben. Oh, thank you, Ben. Um, I, I just wanted to... Um... I just wanted to say that I never understood why your hosting skills have received so much vicious criticism. Until now. <laughs> well, thank you, John. Are you ready to meet our first competitor? Please, Ben, no eye contact. Absolutely. <laughs> Here performing John's famous parrot sketch all the way from your hometown of England, I give you Matthew Cope. Mr. Cleese, I, I'd just like to say it's an honor. Yes, of course it is. You see what I mean by undignified fawning? Hmm? Well, just get on with it. Painting for the fjords? He's not painting. He's passed on. This parrot is no more. He's rung down Matthew, the curtain. Matthew, I, I must uh, just stop you here before audience members are trampled to death stampeding for a refund. Um, <laughs> I'd like to start my critiques with something positive. So let me just say, you're positively dreadful. <laughs> if I have to watch you anymore, I get shingles. But come on, jo John. He's not bad. No, he's, he's not bad. You're right. He's worse than bad. Um, the word has not yet been coined to describe the new level of dreck that he has achieved. <laughs> Although I'm leaning towards the word Mulrooney. <laughs> And bugger off back to obscurity. <laughs> Up next, performing one of John's classic moments. He's a software analyst from Westmount who's always dreamed of performing on the big stage. Please welcome Jason Whiting. idea how much I hate you? <laughs> you sack of pus, what a shitty walk. Give me that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Actually, that's getting better. That's quite funny. John, <laughs> John, you're turning into the mean judge. <sighs> I'm British, Ben. Mean judging is all we do these days. <laughs> Our next contestant is a 911 operator from right here in Montreal who enjoys entertaining callers with his hilarious celebrity impressions. Please get ready for the magical mimicry of crazy Neil Jana.
<laughs> um, okay, well, uh, G. John, it seems that we are fresh out of contestants. Maybe we should think about, you know, wrapping this thing up here. Well, it's, it's as I suspected, man. I'm irreplaceable. But before, before we go, there is one thing I'd like to do as a special gift for all my wonderful Canadian fans. Mm, what's that? Gentlemen, our next performer has turned his deformity into his art. He has traveled all over the world performing for thousands of nauseated audiences, <laughs> and he's been the standout piece at the festival in La Clique. Please welcome the horrifying, delightful Captain.